ஹரி கிருஷ்ணா வெல்கம் டு கிருஷ்ணா ஸ்கியூஸு ஐ எம் பூவன் சுந்தரி ராதா தேவிதாசி வித் அன் ஆத்தன்டிக் ரெசிபி சவுத் இண்டியன் டிஷ்ஷஸ் ஆர் அ ஃபேப் அண்ட் த கியூஸின் இ ரிப்ளேசபிள் த ட்ரெடிஷ்னல் ஸ்பைஸ் மிக்சிஸ் ஆர் சோ ஃப்ளேவர்ஃபுல் தட் தே மேக் த டிஷ்ஷஸ் ஈவன் மோர் டிலைட்ஃபுல் சவுத் இண்டியன் கியூஸின் ஆல்வேஸ் ஹேவ் அ வெரி ஃபேமஸ் டிஷ் நேம்லி ரசம் which is also known as indian soup well in this recipe we are going to see how to make rasam spice mix traditional this authentic recipe of rasam is one of the best made without adding any ready made rasam powder and very satisfying dish of a meal this tangy and sour soup is simple but truly an amazing preparation it balanced sour and spice are impressive and its warmth is all time best so let's begin first take lemon size of tamarind add half cup of water soak it for half an hour now take a vessel and add two ripen finely chopped tomatoes take half inch of ginger and grate it add one chopped green chilli salt to taste add two tablespoon of chopped coriander leaves and keep it aside heat a tawa and add 1 tablespoon coriander seed 1 teaspoon cumin seed roast it on low flame only do not roast it a lot this is done turn off the flame now and take on to a work space take 1 teaspoon of black pepper Now grind it with a grinder stone. If possible grind it this way as it gives a natural and authentic flavor. Now use a roller to grind it into a finer powder. This is ready. Add it into the rasam mixture. Take a spring of curry leaves. Pluck, cut and add it. Now mash it thoroughly. This process gives much flavors and we can also mash it better with our hand instead of spoon. Our rasam mixture is ready. Next add 3 and 1/2 cup of water. and keep the mixture on the stove mix and boil it on medium flame for 10 to 15 minutes or until it boils i have listed down all the ingredients with their measurements in the description box below you can refer it It has been 15 minutes and it is boiling. Our tamarind has soaked well. Smash the tamarind. Now extract its pulp. Now 
I have already boiled one fourth cup of tuar dal in one and half cup of water. Add it. Combine all this well. Add one tablespoon of jaggery. Mix it. Cook it on low flame for 10 to 15 minutes. We have shared many South Indian recipes and you can find all in South Indian recipes playlist which link has been shared in the description box below. It has been 15 minutes. All the flavors have combined well. Turn off the flame and let's temper it. Heat 1 tablespoon of ghee in a pan. Add 1 teaspoon cumin seed. 1 fourth teaspoon fenugreek seed. 1 teaspoon mustard seed. 1 fourth teaspoon asafoetida or hing. Add 2 dried red chillies. Add some curry leaves. This is ready. Turn off the flame. Pour it into the rasam. Add some chopped coriander leaves. With this, our authentic rasam is ready. Here I am serving it with rice. You can serve it with idli also. Let's place a dulsi leaf and offer it to Lord Jagannath. Our traditional rasam with rice are offered and ready. Do try it and let me know how it came for you. If you like Boga recipes, please like, share, subscribe and click on the bell icon below. So you do not miss any Puka recipe. Always chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Ram Hare Hare and be happy.